but you also want to be environmentally friendly. That's why we've got a great DIY for you. Christian Dare is here. <laughs> Ready. So uh, these are all the hats he wears. He's a designer, he's a stylist, he's a DIY expert. Are you blushing yet? Yes, I am. <laughs> Started in the fashion industry, has a master's in design, um, which, you know, enough respect for that. Has a men's lifestyle blog, and you are the principal at Christian Dared Creative. So you're a very creative force. Um, we want to talk a little bit about doing uh, a DIY right now that is going to be like a skin rug. Yep. But no skin. No skin. No Completely skin. Completely environmentally friendly. Yeah, I love that. <clears throat> so you probably heard us talk about floor cloths like five or six years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> They're back again, sorry. Okay, yeah, no problem. So what we're doing today is sort of a gold zebra cloth floor rug. If you've ever tried to source a gold zebra rug, they're about a yeah. thousand bucks these days. Oh my gosh. This is under $30. Okay, good. Super so easy, super easy. So you only need about four or five tools, uh -huh. a pair of great scissors, a gold metallic marker, okay. water-based, yeah. A pencil, the softer the better. Yeah. Two yards of white paper, two yards of white vinyl. Okay, and do you care about the white paper you're using? Whatever, whatever you can Whatever find? white paper you can use. Okay. The trick to the white paper you'll see later, it's better than craft, is it helps you trace better. Okay. So for the fabric, all you want to do is you want to source any sort of upholstery fabric, mm -hmm. an upholstery vinyl. This one has a bit of sort of a faux leather finish. You could do like a linen finish. Mm -hmm. You could do hot pink. You could do yellow. You could do any color you want, basically, right? Yeah, have so fun with that. So your first it. step is to basically make a piece of paper the exact same size. Okay. Then you're gonna go online and you're gonna Google zebra print rug, mm -hmm. super easy. And then you basically just trace the outline of what it should look like. And make it sort of, you know, organic. Super organic, I mean this is a zebra, completely natural, right? right? So it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. Yeah. So my trick for that is though, is only cut out one half of it. Okay. So when you cut out the one half, you can flip it over trace it out, oh, and you've got the other half. Got it. Super easy, right? And you make it as big or as small as you want. That's the good thing about want. this project, though. You're going to be able to figure out what the size is going to be, what the color is going yeah. to be, so it's going to be perfect in yeah. your space. So you can see, like, the one for the table we made here is much smaller, but it could be great for your bathroom right. versus a full, full, uh, a full rug, right? Yeah. So the next step, get rid of this guy, Yeah. is you take that half sheet of paper, and we slice it in half. Okay. So then you go back to your reference of your zebra photo and you just start sketching in zebra stripes. Right. It's super easy. So, super, super easy. Yeah. Totally organic. Once again, you just sort of do it the way you feel it looks yeah. right. <clears throat> so you'll look at, when you look at one, you always see that it goes kind of skinnier here, yeah. wider stripes. In the middle, they'll start connecting more. Right. And then smaller stripes at the top again. Okay. Super easy. So the trick for the white paper is you only have to do one side. So when I flip this over, mm -hmm. And I start tracing basically oh, over top of my exact same line. Right. If you do the exact same line, you will see when you flip it over back to the side, You've you get an outline same. of every single stripe. So that's why you want <coughs> thinner paper, thinner paper versus is better for that. craft paper. That so makes then sense. to do this side, you just do the same thing again because basically you've got your charcoal on the back now uh -huh. and you'll get the matching lines on this side. Cool. So it's almost like built-in tracing paper, which yeah. makes it really easy, right? When do we get to color it in? It's coloring time. Okay. So this is the time where I actually say, break out your bottle of wine. <laughs> You're going to be here for a while. It's kind of therapeutic, kind of like that new trend of coloring books. Yes. So you just sort of like go around your circle, super, super easy. Uh -huh. And you could basically trace every single one if you want, and then fill and then them color in. color it in. Or you could slowly fill them in as you're doing it. Okay, what's your method? Are you a tracer first and then a color inner? So I try tracing. Yeah. I get bored of tracing halfway yes. through it. Then I color in. Yeah. Then I have more wine. Right. Then I trace again. Yes. And the great thing is, if you spill the wine, it wipes up. Oh my gosh. It's completely waterproof. Yes. That's the best thing. This happened to. What also happened to me is. If you've had too much wine, yes. and you get a little like wonky in your sketch, a little sloppy. you just fill it back in. <laughs> right. You just go around. It's so forgiving. Smooth it. It's very forgiving because it's supposed to be a zebra stripe. They're That's supposed right. to look natural, right? So they're great because they're waterproof. You can use them in a kid's room. It's non-toxic markers. Yes. You can easily clean up the grapefruit juice, mm. grape juice, wine, anything. This is easy, which is why you said you can even use it in a bathroom. Yeah, I've so used it in a bathroom, a back it. porch, anything. Yeah. Don't flip your rug until it's dry or you'll get something like We're that just happens. Gonna make that into one of the lines. It's but fine. Exactly. You could just blend that guy there in and go. make a new stripe. So I want to show.
you know, in a situation, it looks great. You know, you got a little table there, um, and it's a little vignette that looks perfect in your space, which is great.